everyone. Welcome to our week six of summer reading craft video. This is going to be our last craft video for summer reading, but don't worry, we're planning to do more during the school year, and I hope I will see you for those too. Today, we're going to be making something very special. We are going to make dragon eggs. They're very shiny and sparkly, and you can just tell that a very magical creature is going to hatch from this egg any minute. So what we need for these is you need your kit from the library. So if you have that, go and get it. If you don't have one, I'm going to talk about what's in it right now. So I have here a little baggie full of glitter. Parents, don't worry, this glitter is optional. If you don't want to use glitter, you can just take your baggie and put it off to the side and not worry about it. You also have a styrofoam egg. If you can't find these, you could use a plastic egg like you can get at Easter, or you can use tin foil. Just crunch it up into an egg shape and use that as the center of your egg. We also have clay or Play-Doh. Um, you just want something that's going to air dry. Don't You don't want something that we need to bake to get it to dry, and we don't want something that's going to stay sticky. We want something that will dry in the air. And the last thing we have here are gems and sequins and sparkles, and those are going to be the scales for our dragon eggs. I also have my tray that I use to protect um, my work surface. I have that and I have a paper plate. Um, the paper plate makes it a little bit easier to contain the glitter and the sparkles if you're going to use those. All right, we've got everything we need, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is cover our egg shape with clay. So I'm going to do that this way. I'm going to take little pieces and smash them flat and press them on to my egg. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I have the whole thing covered. You may not use all of the clay I gave you. Um, and you don't want this covering to be too thick. You want it to dry relatively quickly so we want it a little bit thin but we also want to be able to press things into it so if you are thinking in terms of thickness you probably want it to be I would say if you had a quarter and you put it next to your clay your clay would be a little bit thicker but not much and we're just gonna keep pressing this on and I am going to use some movie magic to speed up my process. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, there we go. Now we have our egg covered with clay, but you can see mine looks a little bit lumpy and bumpy and it's got um, fingerprints all over it. So if you want to smooth it out, what you can do is uh, dip your fingers in some water and just run them over your egg. You can also gently roll it between your hands that will smooth it out some. You don't want to press too hard though if you roll it between your hands because that can make bubbles between the clay and the styrofoam. And you want the clay to lay flat on the styrofoam because otherwise it can fall off. And I'm going to cover my egg. So I'm not too, too worried about having it look perfect right now. I'll worry about that later. That's the great thing about clay. You can always kind of move it around. Now, you have some choices to make. You can choose to add some gems. I have some really cool kind of oval shaped ones. 
and I have a nice square one. I've even got a star here. I think what I am going to do is take my ovally shaped gems and I'm gonna put them in the middle. And all you have to do is put your gem on your egg and push it down a little bit and it will stick right into the clay. And it will look very neat. So there are my gems stuck into my clay. Um, and now for the sequins. The sequins you can do what I did with this egg and cover your whole egg with all the different colors. You can choose one or two colors to put on. It is totally up to you. So I am going to just put a few sequins on this time. I like the way it looks all covered, but I also like the way that it comes out when I don't cover the whole thing with sequins. Just put some on. And just like your gems, you just put it gentle on the, th the surface and push in a little bit. With the sequins, you can kind of see that they're shaped like little domes. And what you want is you want the curved edge up so that the edges the curved side up so that the edges of the dome kind of sink into the clay. And you can also pat the clay around it so it kind of wraps around your sequins. That will help too. And it may cover your sequins up a little bit, but that's okay. You can still see them and see that they're shiny. You can even see on mine, I have some sequins that sunk way in but it still looks really good. Like that one right there sunk about halfway into the clay, but that's okay. It just means it's going to stick a little bit better. All right, and you can tell that when I touched my egg, I got some glitter on me and now I am getting glitter on my egg. That's okay with me. I like glitter. Um, if you're using glitter, I'm gonna show you how to get that on your egg in just a second. Ooh, a new gem. All right, I think I'm done adding gems and sequins. I think this looks pretty nice. You can add as many as you want. You can add all of the ones I gave you. You can skip gems and sequins entirely. Up to you. Now, if you want to add glitter, there are a couple of different ways you can do it. The way that I like best is you take your glitter package and sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle some of it onto your plate so that it's kind of spread out. So you sprinkle it like you would sprinkle salt on dinner, only this is way more than I would ever put salt on something, or Parmesan cheese on your spaghetti. Whatever you sprinkle all over something, that's what you do with your glitter. And you take your egg, and I'm gonna put it in the glitter, and I am going to roll it around kind of gently. And you will get glitter on your hands doing this. But believe it or not, it is the neatest and cleanest way I have found to get glitter into the clay. Um, so be careful not to push too hard. You don't wanna push your egg out of shape. And you also don't wanna knock any of your sequins off. And you can keep rolling that around until you've got an egg that is covered with glitter. And if you need to spread it out a little, you can do that. And just give it a few pats, maybe pinch some up and add some specifically to places. That's fine. 
The other ways you can add glitter, um, you can get glitter paint and after your egg is dry, you can paint it. You can also do that if you have regular paint and you want to paint your egg a color. You can wait until the clay is dry and then paint it. Um, you could also use glue on a dry egg to draw designs and put the glitter on that way. I like this way, I think it looks really neat. But we'll put that aside because now our eggs need to dry and they take um, anywhere from overnight to a day or two depending on how thick you put the clay on. This one um, I put on the clay about as thick as I did on our sample here and this one took I think a little a little more than overnight. I came back to it um, 24 hours later and it was totally dry and it was probably dry a little before that. All right, now as you can see when I'm touching the egg that I've already made, the glitter is coming off on my hands and we don't want it to keep coming off. So there are a few ways you can fix that. The first is to just never touch your egg or to not put glitter on it. Those are definitely options. If you want the egg to be something you can touch and pick up and move around and you want the glitter to stay on it, the best thing to do is take some clear nail polish and very gently and carefully coat your egg with clear nail polish. If you feel comfortable doing that yourself, that's great. If you want a grown-up to help you, that's great too. You can also get um, gloss and varnish at craft stores. Um, there's acrylic gloss that would work well for this, but I, what I have found is that clear nail polish tends to be easier to find and cheaper, and um, it's something that you might already have in your house. So there you have it, that's your dragon egg. And once you have it all coated, um, you can use it for pictures or for costumes or for pretend adventures, anything you want. You could use it with your paper puppets from a couple weeks ago and you could use it as a prop for your puppets, whatever you would like. Um, I would love to see pictures. I'd love to see if you painted your egg or if you decided not to use glitter or if you decided yes you were going to use glitter. I want to see what you've made and since you have extra clay probably from what I gave you I would love to see what you make with your extra clay too and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.